riding on the vector truck. I'm getting nice and dirty, that's for sure. Twelve hours today. And we put me at about 49 hours for the week. What's up guys? Good morning. How's it going? Heading to work. It is a Wednesday morning. Uh, put up another video last night. I'm just on a roll, man. Straight up hustling. Uh, trying to, you know, really do it with this YouTube thing, man. So I appreciate all your support. It means a lot. Anyway, it's 5 a.m. I'm, I'm on the road. Uh, gonna be there probably around... Hmm, 550 I'm supposed to be there at 6 so I'm doing really good I'm probably gonna stop at my stand and get my Red Bull drink I'm gonna just like keeping it like just keeping the streak going you know every day I'm gonna get one uh, I don't know uh, uh, I just you know feel like I want that extra extra oomph um, cuz like I'm working extra hours and I might even be working Saturday so you know if I work Saturday I'm definitely gonna need another red ball drink <laughs> shit anyways yeah man we uh we rocking and rolling yeah we are riding on the vector truck finally gave me a vector job it's been like forever so that's cool so we're gonna be pumping something out for inner city transit inner city transit probably means prevailing wage money you know bummed out about yesterday but hey getting some today check it out guys that's corn pretty fucking corny ain't it ah, it's a lot of corn so we're getting close to our job I'm trying not to drink too much of this but uh kind of am anyway it's just if I do I gotta find a bathroom and that's a problem Pump all that shit out, clean it up, and then this one. I'm getting nice and dirty, that's for sure. Damn. And we get this one, that one over there, and this tape, and that tape, and then we get this right here. So that's what the ladies at the coffee stand need. One of those bee traps. All done now. We just gotta go dump all this shit. Damn, look at my face. <laughs> this place is big. Finished. Hey guys, we're out of here. We're leaving inner city transit. And that is not a typical day on a vector truck. Usually it's a lot easier than that. This was actually like work because all them damn steel grates and <laughs> heavy motherfuckers. God damn. We have some pulled muscles going on, but it's alright. 
we made money today, so I'll be happy when I get that check. Hell yeah. So now we got a little drive back to uh, go dump our shit off, all the mud and grease and sand and rocks and grit and all that nasty stuff, oily stuff. It's all in the can back there and we gotta go dump it off. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. And then maybe they'll let me go home. <laughs> but we are gonna take our lunch break because we sure as hell earned it. <laughs> where we dump off with all these other vector trucks in our way. <laughs> so we're just waiting in line for all these other vector trucks and then, then maybe we can have our lunch and head back to the yard. By the time we get back to the yard it'll be probably close to 6 30 uh, which would put us at 12 hours today. It would put me at about 49 hours for the week with prevailing wage money, so I'm expecting my check to be eight, nine hundred dollars. I don't know exactly, but it's gonna be nice. Gotta stash it though. I'm stashing everything, man. Saving that money. And I'm still gonna ask him about that volunteering on Saturday at the high school. You know, if they got work for me then, then fuck yeah, I'll do it. Work that extra day, make some money. Almost dark here, guys. We're just putting down some carpet, sawdust, suck up all the nasty, oily liquids. <laughs> and then after he's done with that, it's our turn to dump. So we're all unloaded. Just realized I looked at my uh, my fitness watch. I'm at 13,000 steps. <laughs> so now I'm just uh, waiting to find out if we got more work or not. Uh, I gotta take a 30 minute lunch still before I actually clock out today. Cause you know, they take my lunch out of my pay so I make sure I take it, you know. Well, I'm driving in traffic, I'm taking back my truck. A coworker of mine had it and uh, met us at the place where we dumped our load off and uh, I'm saving him a trip by taking the truck back to the yard, so. Yeah. It's kind of funny that it was my truck. I didn't realize that he had a loaner truck. And my coworker that I was working with said he, he just counted like our wait time there as lunch. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be good with that or if I'm gonna take a lunch. I might ask to take a lunch. I think, I don't know. I was thinking about picking up something to eat. So, I'm not completely like familiar with Tacoma area, and I took a wrong exit and basically forced myself to go back on I-5 North to get off and get back on I-5 South. <laughs> ah, I hate that when it happens. Well, it's just like, you know, you get off the exit, and then you're making a left, but I was in the wrong lane because I needed to make a right and I get on an I-5 North, but I screwed up and got on I-5 North. <sighs> it's annoying. Anyway, uh, I radioed into the shop, told them I'm gonna take a lunch on the way back. You know, they're gonna take the half hour, and plus I'm kinda hungry, so yeah. They got me some Little Caesars pizza. I know it's not the most healthy, but you know. <laughs> um, work 12 hour days, so thing about it is uh, it seems like it's lacking on like the you know tomato sauce or marinara sauce or whatever you call it it seems more like just like bread and pepperoni and a little bit of cheese <laughs> uh, but at least I'm not hungry so I'm full now 
So come to find out the normal route home, uh, there was a bad accident and I'm not going that way because I don't want to sit in traffic. So I guess I'm hopping on I-5. I try to avoid I-5 just because it's so crazy, but this time of day, I think it'll be okay. So we're gonna do it. Look at all this traffic. <laughs> See, going the other way behind me is the way I usually go. But we ain't going that way. Screw all that. At least we got beautiful sky. Dirty windows though. <laughs> Yeah, I should probably clean my windows. My windshield, at least. <laughs> you can hardly see out the damn thing. God damn. <sighs> Made it home, guys. It's uh, about 8, 10. 8, 10 p.m. right now. Whew, check out my pants. I'm so damn dirty. Jeez. <laughs> Look at that. It's just caked with dirt. Damn. I might have to kind of pre-wash those in the shower or something because my landlord's been doing my laundry and she's not going to want to deal with that <laughs> damn package finally came guys so i don't know if you've seen the youtube commercials with like the guy with the long hair and the beard and he's, he's like a stand-up comedian but anyway uh he's always pushing that dr squatch soap and he's got like this stuff that he's talking about uh called uh pine tar pine tar soap and you could smell like the forest. And I was always like wondering, what the hell would that be like? I want to smell like the forest. You know? So I ordered me so Check it out. There it is. Dr. Squatch Pine Tar. Exfoliating Bar. Let's see what it says. Made from five natural oils. No harsh chemicals. Handcrafted. Please recycle. Well, alright. And then it says the story... We all have, hey, get off of me. We all have human obligations, but as men, we still desire to be wild, free, and natural like a Sasquatch. Turn your shower up a notch and unleash your inner man with Dr. Squatch. Soap that, that's full of the simple and natural ingredients your body loves and deserves. Hmm. And there it is. It's black as the chair. <laughs> Um, let's see what it smells like. Hmm, that smells good. Alright, I'm gonna go take a shower and I'm gonna use this and I'll let you guys know what I think of it. Ooh, so I just got out of the shower. That uh, pine tar is pretty cool, man. It smells good. Um, skin feels soft. I feel clean. I'm a lot cleaner than I was. Damn, I had shit all over me. Anyway, I'm gonna go to bed early. I'm tired. Um, probably go ahead and close this video up. But um, yeah, that's basically what I do, guys. Um, Want to work on a vector truck? Just it's, you know, usually easy. Uh, but today was definitely hard. I can feel it through my whole body. Like my knees kind of hurt going up and down, and my back hurts from lifting them heavy steel um, drains. And yeah. Definitely tired, but at least I get a good paycheck. That's what's up. Anyways, Keiko wants to say good night to you guys. There's a Keiko. He wants to say good night. Good boy. There's that good boy. Alright, guys, smash that like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.